In this video, we'll share the top 14 things to do in Santa Rosa. At number one, we have the Charles M. Schultz Museum. This museum is a tribute to the life and work of Charles M. Schultz, the creator of the Peanuts comic strip. The museum showcases thousands of artifacts, including photographs, letters, tribute art, and a vast number of comics and memorabilia. Visitors can explore the recreated Schultz studio, an outdoor Snoopy labyrinth, and numerous sculptures throughout the grounds. At number two, we have the Luther Burbank Home and Gardens. This urban garden was once the home of pioneering horticulturalist Luther Burbank. The gardens are open seven days a week and feature a unique cactus garden and Burbank's historic greenhouse. Guided tours of the Luther Burbank home are available from Tuesday to Saturday. At number three, we have the Pacific Coast Air Museum. This museum displays over 30 authentic airplanes within a historic hangar and five-acre field at the Sonoma County Airport. The museum allows visitors to touch, feel, and inspect these well-preserved aircrafts. During open cockpit weekends, visitors can even sit in the pilot seat. At number four, we have the Luther Burbank Center for the Arts. This premier art and event space has cultivated a near 40-year reputation for quality community engagement. It features school performances, adult education programs, and a wide collection of contemporary art. The center is best known for the talent they bring to their stage, featuring big names and regional productions in theater, dance, music, and comedy. At number five, we have the Spring Lake Regional Park. This park is centered around a 72-acre reservoir and offers a slew of warm weather activities. Boating and swimming are both popular activities at Spring Lake, and the park features a seasonal swimming lagoon with an inflatable obstacle course and lifeguards on duty. A year-round boat ramp allows motor and paddle boats to access the water, and a concessionaire at the park features boat rentals by the hour. At number six, we have the Old Courthouse Square and downtown Santa Rosa. Old Courthouse Square is the central plaza in downtown Santa Rosa and is a recently renovated gathering space that is home to a wide range of events. The rest of downtown stems from Old Courthouse Square, including the adjacent 4th Street, lined with local restaurants and shops. At number 7, we have the Railroad Square Historic District. This Old Town District is on the west side of downtown Santa Rosa and features shopping, dining, and downtown hotels with historic appeal. Centered around the 1904 Depot and Depot Park, numerous boutique shops and local restaurants are found within the turn-of-the-century stone buildings of the neighborhood. At number 8, we have the Museum of Sonoma County. This non-profit museum highlights the culture and history of the surrounding county. It features regularly rotating displays by regional artists alongside its permanent collection of historic photographs, 19th-century paintings, and numerous sculptures, many of which are seen in the outdoor sculpture garden. At number 9, we have the Safari West. This non-profit institute offers a unique opportunity to go on an African safari. Safari West encompasses approximately 400 acres and features a wide range of animals to encounter, including giraffe, antelopes, and a rhinoceros. Alongside daily safari tours used to inspire wildlife advocacy, Safari West also offers luxurious tent cabins with private bathrooms and hardwood floors to spend the night. At number 10, we have the Sugarloaf Ridge State Park. Sugarloaf Ridge encompasses over 4,000 acres of outdoor things to do within the Mayacamas Mountains east of Santa Rosa. 30 miles of hiking trails navigate the varied forests of the park including a towering redwood grove next to Sonoma Creek. A short hiking trail to a waterfall on Sonoma Creek is popular within the park, as is the Vista Trail leading to the summit of Bald Mountain. At number 11, we have the Howarth Park. Howarth is a popular family park on the east side of town. It's known as the Jewel of Santa Rosa and encompasses over 150 acres, including the 25-acre Lake Ralphine. Popular water activities on Lake Ralphine include boat rentals, boating lessons, wildlife spotting, and fishing. At number 12, we have the Trion Anadel State Park. Trion Anadel is an expansive public space east of Santa Rosa and is a favorite for hikers, mountain bikers, and horse riders. This sprawling expanse has over 40 miles of multi-use trails lacing its rolling topography. At number 13, we have the Jack London State Historic Park. This popular historic park is the location of Jack London's once thriving ranch and homestead, as well as the gravesite of the famous author. Visitors today can learn more about the legacy of the popular author, as well as tour his beautiful estate, including the ruins of Wolf House, which nearly burned to the ground in a 1913 fire. At number 14, we have the Sonoma Coast. 
The Sonoma Coast is world famous for its stunning beach scenes and illustrious coastal landscapes. Tourists and residents in Santa Rosa reach this idyllic beach scene in less than an hour's drive. This proximity makes for easy day trips from Santa Rosa to one of the most beautiful stretches of coastline in the county. So that sums up my top 14 things to do in Santa Rosa. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like on the video. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have a great day.